What is going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs show. Hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. Today we're going to be starting a new series called TD's Shorts where each video we're going to be breaking down a comment, a tweet, a question that I found on the internet and I'll be giving you sort of my opinion or answer to those questions. So today we're going to be looking at the tweet that was sent out yesterday from Undisputed where they asked how much trouble are the Lakers in? So we'll be breaking that down today. I'll be giving you my answer to that. Um, just before we do get into the video, if this is a series that you like or you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for more content just like this. Um, but let's get right into it. So at the time of me filming this video, the Lakers come in with a record of 37-28. and 28. They jump from 7th seed in the West to the 5th seed after last night's victory against the Denver Nuggets. But... If you look at the Western Conference standings, only four and a half games separate the Lakers at five to the Grizzlies at nine, and there's only seven games remaining. Plus, as we'll talk about in a second, you still got to factor in um, that there is that play-in game uh, potential for the Lakers as well. Um, but I think the Lakers got just a ton of issues right now. I think their depth was an issue coming into the season, although they did have a pretty decent offseason and being able to get some pretty good key pieces. But I think the Lakers really messed up this year starting at the trade deadline. Um, you know, they were in talks with the Raptors about potentially acquiring uh, Kyle Lowry, which ended up falling through because they refused to trade Horton Tucker. Um, but they had offered Schroeder and Caldwell Pope, two guys who, especially Schroeder, who played very, very big roles on the Lakers, um, and essentially their entire backcourt. And I always say this about the trade deadline, that you got to be really careful. Yes, you can upgrade, but what a lot of people don't think about is that team chemistry factor, which is, you know, potentially their biggest concern looking down the line as well. So I think the team chemistry is all messed up. Um, but they've also had a ton of injuries. They've been dealing with a lot of protocol sort of issues as well. They've missed time from LeBron, Anthony Davis, uh, Marcus Saul's been out. Um, Schroeder as well, now out for 10 to 14 days. We found that out um, yesterday, I think it was. Um, but the big thing here for the Lakers is when will LeBron James be back and how good will he make the Lakers when he is back? Now, I think on paper, the Lakers are still um, one of, if not the best teams in the Western Conference. But if you look at what LeBron James did even prior to that injury, you know, he was 0-3 in the last games in which he played in a game for the Lakers. He lost that game when he got hurt to the Hawks and then came back for two where he lost to the Kings and then to the Raptors as well. Um, and even if LeBron James does come back for that big game that the Lakers have against the Trailblazers in terms of seeding on um, Thursday, I think it is, you know, now you're without Schroeder, who's like 16 points per game, you're starting point guard, and, you know, not necessarily as valuable as LeBron or Anthony Davis, still really, really valuable, um, you know, in terms of the depth that the Lakers don't really have and the production that he has on the court. Um, so to sort of answer the question, I mean, it depends on what really you take into consideration as, you know, what are you worried about? Um, cause I look at that play in game and if the Lakers do end up falling down seeds, which unfortunately with the lack of players that they have, um, right now looks like it is a potential. You're looking at a play in game against potentially the Blazers in that seven, eight. Um, and then if you end up losing that all of a sudden you got a real play in game for the playoffs against a team like sort of the Warriors, Spurs or Grizzlies. Um, the Lakers have not looked good down the stretch. So, I mean, you got to be worried about that. But then even looking ahead to the playoffs, if the Lakers do end up being a 7 or 8 seed, you know, how confident are you at this point in the season in beating a team like the Jazz or the Suns, who have both looked sensational this year, top teams in the Western Conference, um, and, you know, teams that probably could have meet the Lakers in, like, the Western Conference Finals if the Lakers had been healthy all year. Um and now you got to play against those teams with, you know, a LeBron who hasn't played in a month. You're going without really your entire starting lineup having played with each other this entire year. And now that Schroeder injury definitely doesn't help the Lakers. Um, so in my opinion, the Lakers should be worried. They still got a bit of time, but it is not looking good. They haven't looked good lately. I don't think the team chemistry is looking very good. They need the injuries to fi be figured out very, very fast. They need to figure this out quickly. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all for today. Let me know your thoughts on this particular issue and the Lakers down in the comment section below. Also, if you do like these TD short sort of videos, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs. Also, make sure to comment down below what sort of topic you want me to do next in the next one of these shorts videos. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time.